Okay, so we're good. And we're moving into the third game. And wow, I just actually... I was hoping that we would actually start. But um, okay. That was pretty anticlimactic. Anyway, so we're into the next game. We're into the third game. Both of you guys, both of you wonderful gentlemen. If you could just give me a little bit of, of air time right now. So this is the third game between um, NLS and Phoenix. That, and apparently Phoenix is a team that have been sponsored by Apertech in the past. I don't know. We are not yet sure if they're still sponsored right now. But they are a class, apparently some sort of class S team. And we didn't know it. We didn't know about it until now, until tonight. So now NLS on the, at the same time is just graduated from the uh, Gold League a few days back. And they were accelerated up to Emerald League. And lo and behold, we did not know that apparently some people from NLS were actually part of the original team from Phoenix. So we did not know about that. It was the, it was the engine who decided that they have to go head to head. And that's how wonderful the engine is. <laughs> okay, right. so anyway, yeah, actually, Coach, I didn't know. I didn't know. I absolutely had no idea. Anyway, I'm not going to stop talking. We're now in the drafting phase. I'll leave it to you guys. Good luck, and I'll see you later. Guys, you can talk now. All right, all right. So, uh, welcome back, everybody, to game three of Phoenix.int versus Next Level Strat. So, again, these are the best teams that we have so far. The earlier game, game one, uh, took 51, 52 minutes to complete. Yeah, that was a victory for Team NLS. But the following game actually was won by uh, Team Phoenix Int within the first six minutes of the game with a very, very decisive uh, early game domination. So right now, uh, we're hoping to see a bit more action coming in from both teams. Uh, the bats right now from Phoenix.int go for Doom and then the Viper. And for NLS, yeah, they ban out the Lycan this round and then the Faceless Void. They do have the first pick right now, so let's see what kind of pick they're going to go with right now. Uh, they might want to go with a uh, hero that would dictate the pace of the game. Yes, and of course, Razor. of course. We, we, have our, we have our Lightning Man. Oh, and we also have Shadow Shaman. Ooh, they forgot to ban Death Prophet. Phoenix with the all-out push lineup, Mass Serpent Wards, and... Death Prophet's little swarm of ghosts is going to be hard to stop. Yes. Of course, if you could just immediately snap your fingers and kill the Death Prophet, I suppose you won't be much trouble. Yeah, so that was a no-brainer back-to-back pick. Shadow Shaman and the Death Prophet for uh, Phoenix in. Didn't even have to think about it. They do have the only back-to-back -back slot in the game, and they pick Shadow Shaman and Death Prophet right off the bat. Next level strat, go with the Razor compliment. Skywrath Mage works well with the Razor, and the second round of bans come out. The Brewmaster and the Meepo for next level strat. Yeah, this Meepo really is getting banned, so I think they know, since apparently they have a mutual connection with one of our uh, viewers, they, I think they know that uh, Phoenix Int has a good Meepo player, so it's banned out, and for Phoenix Int, uh, more standard bans. Tidehunter, yeah, Teamfight Hero, good complement to Razor and Skywrath Mage, because Skywrath Mage can uh, easily drop that Mystic Flare. And okay. Tinker, yeah. Okay. Tinker, annoying hero to deal with. Don't want to deal with that. You ban him out. And huh. that concludes the second round of bans. Going into the second round of picks. Uh, Afar Tech, they do have the core strategy right now. Shadow Shaman and Death Prophet. So they're going to revolve around uh, pushing down towers early on. Securing that map control. That advantage gold coming in from taking towers. So they could actually go for a, f a couple of compliments right now. They can go for more pushing power. Um, although the Lycan is banned out, they can still pick the Jakiro. The Jakiro is a decent pusher in his own right. Um, the Shrak actually has kind of fallen out of favor, but I would still say uh, not really too bad of a hero. If if he's gonna go ganking with the Shadow Shaman, uh, he can land those stuns perfectly fine all the time. And you know, uh, a lot of magic damage coming early in uh once he gets level six uh he can easily de deal around 600 uh 700 800 maybe worth of damage if he gets close so let's rock wouldn't be a bad idea neither would pugna pugna also deals a lot of damage also works well against skyrath mage and a bit against nope, razor nope. we're going with the centaur but they're going with the centaur yeah centaur war runner is a free blink dagger uh for all the heroes in your team for all intents and purposes yeah uh, free blink dagger you can move in move out with the centaur stampede and it's global so you can save team uh teammates from dying uh giving them a free escape or 
giving them uh, an initiation even if you're away from them in the map. So Centaur Warrunner, a good pick. Uh, that tankiness doesn't hurt as well. So yeah, he's probably one of the better heroes that can survive the Mystic Flare of the Skywrath Mage early on. Just because he's so tanky, he has a very amazing strength gain. Uh, and Come on, guys. This is super standard. Let's see some really exciting picks. Let's go Tusk. Yeah, but um, going, <laughs> go, going game three, going game three, uh, you know, uh, they might want to play a bit more conservatively. Both teams might want to play a bit more conservatively because this is game three. Uh, this is the series on the line. Uh, uh, all hinging on this game. So, you know, uh, th the game earlier on was won within the first six minutes. So the draft, I would say, nope, is nope. equally as They crucial. threw it to the wind. We have a Slardar. Okay. All right, we are we're in for some fun picks. Come on, just follow it up with something cool. Okay, Maybe so, you want a tusk? So, <laughs> so um, yeah, Slardar, kind of the unusual pick uh, from next level strat. Does help dealing physical physical damage, but uh, I, I don't know. Razor deals a good amount of physical damage on his own, but I, I think they want to slack. Uh, to yes! stack armor reduction. <laughs> okay, so Zeus. Zeus They're coming in for next level strat. On this one. Zeus and Sand King for, from Phoenix and Next Level Strat. For our viewers who are not too familiar with Dota, both of these heroes are known for their intense amount of magic damage yeah. capabilities. Yeah. Sand King with the epicenter, he gets a blink dagger, he's gonna walk in, he's gonna become a moving earthquake. Zeus has the ability to strike anyone across the map regardless of where they are with his ultimate. Both of these guys, really flashy heroes. This is gonna be fun to watch. Yeah, so um, Zeus, very unconventional. Zeus and Slardar actually are both unconventional picks right now. Um, Slardar, yeah, maybe you'd want the armor reduction just to help Razor get uh, a lot of physical damage into a target, perhaps the Death Prophet. They would be aiming to take down the Death Prophet early on because Death Prophet um, prol uh, prolonged in a team fight can uh, take down a, a lot of HP from your team. So you don't want to keep that Death Prophet alive uh, for very long. So yeah, pro possibly burst from Slaughter and Razor and also from the Zeus. Zeus deals a good amount of burst and has great team fight potential actually. The Thunder God's Wrath. Uh, is not only a spell for picking off people across the map, it's also a very devastating team fight spell. Especially if he has the static field up. Uh, that's an additional percentage damage with your uh, big team fight damaging skill. So there's, I'd, there's that. I'd like to point out that um, while Dyer is focused on rushing in and getting in close, I mean they have Centaur, they have Sand King, Death Prophet, Shadow Shaman. Next level strat has a lot of range with their abilities. They have Zeus, they have Skyrath, Razor's Plasma Field, and you know, his static link keeps people away from him. Slardar, when the moment he gets a blink, he's gonna go he's gonna he's gonna get his ulti on someone, amplify damage, blink in, crush, just beat the crap out of anyone who tries to get too close to Zeus or Skyrath. This is interesting. This is, these are not these aren't your normal death ball lineup. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a lot of early to mid game fighting. Okay, oh, I'm yes. just gonna, I'm just gonna butt in, right? Yep. Because I'm just so excited that Zeus got picked, and this is the first. According to our stats, this is the first time that he got picked. Uh, uh, this is the first time he got picked when we started the actual formal series, but this is the second time that he got picked overall. Okay. Uh -huh. So again, since we started the formal teams, this is the second time. I'm uh, sorry, it's the first time, but overall, this is the second time. So anyway, just had to say that because Ten. Zeus is actually one of the rarest heroes who gets picked. Yeah, that's all. So, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zeus is a very, very rare pick. So it's going to be very entertaining. But I think Zeus um, is. Yes. People might forget about Zeus's um, uh, thunderbolt. Yeah, which can be used for the warding. Actually, Phoenix has very, very good warding earlier on in the previous two games shown that uh, the wards have been very helpful for them you know uh, getting pickoffs just knowing how to rotate and position themselves uh, yeah because of they, they really have a good game sense they really have a good sense for warding and NLS they do have the potential to counter that with the Zeus right now 
But we have a yeah, we have the beginning pause, the start of the game pause, and um, while we're waiting for any smoke rotations, any smoke movements for the teams, let's have the introductions. All right, for next level strat, we have Cool Kid on the Zeus. This is going to be their likely mid. We have Vial on the Razor, no surprise there. Fi on the Slardar. We have Uni on the Ancient Apparition. And Pachi Sama on the Skyrath Mage. What a beautiful helmet from him. Gotta give respect to a man who has a cool hat. On Phoenix, Coach? Alright, so on Phoenix, we have uh, Tone. On the Sand King, we have KKK Cam. On uh, the Death Prophet, we have Shell. On the Shadow Shaman, we have Ivanova. Playing the Ember Spirit and uh, Icy on the Centaur War Runner. So we're we're gonna have the start of the game right now. From Skyra. They're gonna be one to be going for early kills here. They have they do have the damage output with Ancient Apparition. Never underestimate Children Touch at level one. Free fifty damage for everyone in the game. And w given that he's also with Skyra. Who's also good at some early game fighting. We could see some entertaining plays here. Oh, he's going to the jungle. Centaur moving out into the radiant jungle again. He's going to play some more here. Defensive. I like this one. I really do. It's like um, it's much better than the one you usually plays here because you can actually see things coming from here. Things come from here also. Okay, so we have a boss. I think there's something wrong with my settings. No? Um, no I can maybe. hear you just fine, coach. Okay, okay. So we have a boss. Uh, Slardar species is having some errors. Okay, blue screen. So <laughs> might be a, 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 a while for, um, for the Razor to go back. Hmm. All right, while we're paused here and waiting for the moment, I really do like to point out just how much I like the dra I like the draft on both teams. This isn't your regular 6.81 death ball meta. We um, next level strap has an insane amount of magic damage. Skyrath and Zeus, magic nukers who have the extremely rare trait of scaling into the late game. Zeus with his passive static field that deals a percentage of an enemy's current health as bonus damage to go with the spells. And we have Skyra, who, because his nuke actually scales with his int stats, means that he scales into the late game really well. Not to mention his regular spells also boost his magic damage, and Mystic Flare just kills anyone dumb enough to stand underneath it. We and to top it all off, we have Ancient Apparition, a.k.a. sniping from across the map, as if Zeus wasn't enough already. This is absolutely beautiful to watch. I hope it does well. Meanwhile, we on the dire side, a bit more standard with the uh, Shadow Shaman and Death Prophet, both of them ins insane pushers. Us both get level 6, they're gonna go find a tower that's unattended, and then they're just gonna pop it with snaps of their fingers. Master put wards and ghosts will do that to a tower. Okay, so... Centaur... Uh, yes? Sorry. Yeah, let's, let's, let's give out the shoutouts from the players, okay? So, um, shoutout to Christine Jean from Tone. Uh, Viola gives out the shoutout to Juni Boy, and shoutout to Boss Denki from a lot of people. Christopher Gozon, shoutout to you from... KKK Cam, uh, Icy would like to shout out to Joshua Castalero, okay? Imbash. 
Shout out to Ben Ten. Wow. So shout out to Keith Tyson from Ivanova. Shout out to Shell's mom. <laughs> shout out to Jared Dew from Uni. Shout out to Brian Miharis from Tone. Shout out to Mang Bernie from IC and also Ben Ten. And then another shout out to Juni Boy. And shout out to Sun Sun Six One Nine. Wherever you are, I I hope you are well. You know, even when he was at his most popular, Ember Spirit was always entertaining to watch because of how the hero works. Uh, although, I I'd say that in this game, um, your Flame Guard isn't going to be doing crap against the likes of Zeus and Skyra. However, they are also free food if he manages to dash in towards them, get those searing chains off, and then just wax them to death with the sword. So this is going. So you're at coach. I think this is this is execution based again. I, I honestly don't know whose draft I prefer. Okay, so uh, I think both teams are ready right now. We have the end pause. And we're gonna see a rotation from the Ember Spirit and Shadow Shaman and the Sand King. Three of them do have lockdown capabilities. And uh, the Zeus right now, I think he spots out the Ember Spirit. So, uh, yeah, might not get a kill there. But uh, from the looks of it, they're gonna go with uh, Tri Lane with these three heroes. So, if the Zeus goes solo off lane against them, then he's probably gonna have a hard time. Even if he is a ranged hero, uh, that's not gonna deter. Uh, em uh, Ember Spirit because Ember Spirit does have the flame guard uh, and he has a naturally high move speed 310 not bad for a melee hero so uh, let's take a look at the other lanes right now there's uh, on the opposite of the other lanes we have this centaur he's he, 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 he saw what happened to the centaur in the last game he's sticking right next to his tower not venturing out I don't want to feed he says over here we have Zeus he can afford to be a bit further out from his tower, he's got lightning. On mid, we have Death Prophet versus Razor. No surprise there, both of them extremely common mid heroes. Um, I'd give the advantage so far in these lanes to Phoenix, actually. Just, just because of the... Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, what do you think, coach? I, I'm not sure what to make of these lanes. This is, this is a rather uncommon lineup. And you no, know, nobody ever sees a Zeus, much less a Zeus off lane. <laughs> this might be one of those times that it would be better for Death Prophet to get more levels in Witchcraft than the Crypt Swarm. Because uh, I, I don't think that it would be uh, useful for you to keep increasing the mana cost of your Crypt Swarm and. Um, if if you yeah it's better if you keep higher levels of witchcraft because uh, at this rate yeah you're not going to be able to right click properly because the razor is gonna sap out your damage so you'd be relying on your crypt swarm to get last hits in and raising okay so he levels up the crypt swarm but uh, yeah if, if you raise the witchcraft instead then you're lowering the cooldown you're lowering the mana cost which allows you to spam out the crypt swarm and treat it like you know like Zeus's uh, first skill also, you, you just use it to last hit but in, in this case okay that prophet does go with a higher level of crypt swarm and oh, uh, oh maybe Zeus is to be in trouble if, if G Shadow Shaman can just get close enough no he doesn't Shack Shackle's a bit too short range for that one he even, needed the hex even if he does have the shackle the, the sand king is uh, far behind he's he's pulling some creeps uh, doing a creep pull right now, so they're not gonna be able to kill. But the yeah, here in the mid, the razor does fall. The centaur warner makes a rotation. I think maybe he got a rune, maybe he got some sort of rune. But yeah, oh, we missed the first blood. Sorry about that. But yeah, yeah. the razor falls gives an early advantage for Team Phoenix. Now let's take a look at the last hit so far. Right now, uh, we see. Yeah, on the tri lane, both sides, it's Lardar and Ember Spirit uh, leading the pack at 15 each. Yeah, they're, so they're actually even here. So pretty, pretty even. much even right now. The Death Prophet and the Razor also uh, dead matchup around 8 7. Mid heroes, um, yeah, having uh, not too fun of a time, range versus range against each other. Whereas the uh, melee heroes in the safe lanes are having a better time farming. 
Slarder actually right now ahead in ahead a bit in, in terms of last hits. So we, we see the Razor right now zoning out the Death Prophet again. Again, the Death Prophet, look at this 70 damage uh, drain. He's dealing literally zero damage to creeps. Uh, so he's not gonna get last hits <laughs> at any rate right now. Okay, so yes, Centaur Warner picked up an Envy rune. Perfect rune right now. Uh, I read that as clockwork. I was so confused. I, right I now, said, okay, on top lane, the Zeus is got Ooh, out and the there's Zeus two is stars, going to get wrecked gonna... by the Ember Spirit. That is not who you want to be feeding there, boy. Em Ember Spirit is. Um, no, Ember Spirit is unique among a lot of the hard carries in that he has two peaks in where he peaks really early in the game. And then he's also insanely good, really, really, really late game to slight fist. Uh, early kill is not something you want to be giving to him, especially as especially th when you're someone like Zeus. Yeah, but right now really they, the Centaur Warner is caught out um, by the slow and uh, is spotted oh, out he, by the ancient a, a apparition. Ice Master skills there. Oh, is he going? To, is he going to survive this? I don't think they have the CC to bring him down. I, oh, oh, they're gonna dive this. They're gonna dive this. He's gonna crush it. Yes, he is. A bit of a stop, and oh, he couldn't get the double edge off in time. That would have been a kill on the Slardar. Oh, the Slardar almost dies, but uh... the Slardar was so close. But you know, and that, when you're a strength hero, sometimes you just gotta man up. Yeah, that that stout shield, just paying off right now for the Slardar. Might might have died without it. Uh, they're going ag uh, aggressive again against the Zeus in the top Where's lane. the Zeus going? He's gonna run right into the Shadow Shaman. He gets hexed up. He gets shackled down. The Sand King is going to come in. The stun goes up. Ember Spirit has, has him trapped. He's down. Okay, so uh, the only kill right now for NLS is against the Centaur Warrener. But they've had three deaths. Two on the Zeus and one on the Razor. Uh, might not be a, a, a good trade-off for them right now. Because the Zeus, you'd want to get an early level 6 on him. And you know, start using that ult your advantage. The razor one death. Okay, not not so bad since he's been able to zone out the death prophet so far. He actually has more last hits and denies than the death prophet. Even if he died, he has twenty last hits and eleven denies. The eleven denies might make a significant amount of uh, difference uh, in terms of exp, and it does. They're both e equal exp right now, pretty much four hundred fifty. The razor ahead. So oh, ancient apparition brought down the centaur again. I, I missed that. Okay, so uh, going a bit better right now for NLS since they've also killed uh, the Centaur Warrener twice, the Zeus died twice, and the Centaur Warrener died twice, so maybe a bit even. But yeah, the Razor is zoning out. I have to argue problem. that the Centaur is doing much better being level 5 right now, and Zeus only level 4. He has Tranquil Boots for some reason. So Death Prophet skipping that level 6 ultimate. Going with higher levels of witchcraft, yeah. At this point, witchcraft is okay. You need that move speed, especially against the razor, so you can uh, disengage the static link uh, as as early as possible. But right now, yeah, she's waiting smoke for the shadow and shaman. Oh, oh, shadow shaman going down, but no, she razor's too fast. You're gonna need something a bit faster than a shadow shaman with brown boots. Yeah, razor's unstable current actually pr provides quite a bit of movement speed, also. Almost as fast as the Death Prophet's Witchcraft. Uh, 16% at max level. Uh, witchcraft gives 20%, I think. Yeah, 20% on the Witchcraft uh, level 4. So, yeah, b both heroes are considerably fast. So Both heroes like to go Sonic mode late in the game. Yeah, so Gotta go fast with all this. <laughs> so it, it, it's gonna be hard to uh, gank them when you're gonna have to charge up the ramp so okay um seven minutes in not too much action in the last two minutes the last death was sent to our warner nothing happened much after that right now they are in a position to take down the death prophet uh death prophet getting hit by the maximum razor getting that concussive shot zeus is coming in uh, fade what's that no concussive shot why did i say fade ball? Oh, she activates her ultimate. She's going to turn this around. Centaur ult is activated. She's trying to chase. But the plasma field is too much. He's Shadow Shaman trying to salvage a bad situation, but no. Razor just moves too fast for that. And again, the Centaur Warner might die. There's the crush, uh, and the Centaur Warner. He gets dived by Slardar. Okay, so we have a uh, two per mil exchange on two different lanes. This is starting to shift to next level strats. 
uh, side, despite the rather bad start they had. But yeah, you know that uh, that cold feet combo to the Slardar Slytherin Crush is just uh, doing so much work, so much value in the Slytherin Crush. The 8 second cooldown, yeah. Um, you stun for 2 seconds and then you slow for an additional 2. That's actually a 2.5 duration Ooh, stun. Right now, uh, the Zeus, okay, the Nysa rune. No engagement happening there. And a nice blast, blast coming in. Um, go, it's it's headed on mid. It hits the Death Prophet. The blast in the field is it pixels. No, he's just not going to go down. Razor needed to commit to a bit more if he wanted to. Yeah, but he should play safe since uh, he should see that the supports are missing. Can't see them on the map. And at this point, you also don't see the Ember Spirit because he's hidden behind the tree. So uh, who knows what may be waiting behind the dire tier 1 tower. Safe place there from the Razor and wise enough. I'd like to note that Sand King is 600 away from his Blink Dagger. Yeah, and already at level 6. So uh, he, just just a few creep caps. Ep Epicenter is already up. Just um, probably in 2 minutes, he'd have his Blink Dagger up in time. Uh, 11 minute Blink Dagger, that's not too bad, I suppose. Yeah, and then when... The timing on the Blink Dagger it's, should be around 12 they're picking minutes. Up, they're picking the Centaur. They want to go for him again. Yeah, Are but gonna this do time, Centaur? the Shadow oh, Shaman is go there. The, Shadow Shaman's here. Shaman. He's got back up. And the Death Prophet is moving in. The Death Prophet does have that Exorcism up. So it might be a bigger team fight than the previous one. Meanwhile, the Zeus getting caught out by the Ember Spirit. The Ember Spirit does oh, have Zeus the Zeus is going but... to dive down? Nope, he doesn't. The Centaur oh, has activated. They run right into that many people. The Goose are taking down Slardar. Oh, he just moves a bit too far. App Apparition Ulti just grazing through all of them. Not of them hit by the actual blast, just by the little ball as it flies past them. So we see a bunch of ultimates go down, but no kills. A little bit of an awkward exchange here in the bottom lane. Didn't see projectile. Yep, it happens. No, that's a uh, bug. If you don't see the Ancient Apparition projectile, then it means you'd have to maybe restart. It's a graphical error. Um, probably I always thought it was something related to lag. Like, you know all those Mirana arrows that just hit you from out of nowhere and then... <laughs> and I, I, always, I always brought those up as lag, actually. Is it lag? Uh, I always thought it's an error on your video card or something. Oh. So, I'll have to do a bit of research on that later. Yeah, either, oh, we have either, a TP into the bot lane? Either way, it, 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 it can be either way, okay? So it might be a render error, it it, it, it might be an... Uh, oh, ulti, ulti hits on Ember Spirit, he could actually die! He, he just needs to reach it, he just needs enough mana for an ulti! Just enough mana for an ulti and that is a dead thing! No, he decides to hit him with a Fade Bolt, oh! Oh, this it was a bad idea for Zeus, the Flame Guard protecting him from the... Power of Zeus's lightning bolt taking the brunt of the damage. He has it on level three, so that blocked 350 magic damage actually. Quite a bit. Oh, they're diving deep for this. They want the Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman pops. He's got. Oh, they're still sending out an ultimate. They want that Ember Spirit, but Ember Spirit's not gonna be there in time. Oh, a bit of an unfortunate aim there. Yeah, the but cent they the don't mind. Warner knew tower. that it was coming. So he, he danced around before entering the fountain. I'd like to note that Sand King does have his Blink Dagger. Okay, so 12 minutes in, racing. perfect timing. But uh, they might take this tower, uh, tier 1 tower down, bottom lane. Bottom lane towers, of course, most oh, important. Oh, they're TPing in? They want to defend it? Oh no, they're just going to deny it. Oh, a bit of an unfortunate TP timing here for Centaur. It's a good thing that he's got... There we go! There is our Blink Epicenter. Beautiful! Takes out the Slardar and now takes out the Death. Oh, uh, they sent the Skyra. What is it, Death Prophet? Ancient Apparition on the low and on the run, but they're not interested in him. They want to take a revenge tower kill. Do yeah. they have the Mass Serpent Wards? Yes, they do. They can totally take this tower. Meanwhile, Death Prophet, she has her own ghosts. She can easily force the Zeus out of the lane. And then take another tower kill. Nope, nope, the help is coming in. Skyrath, oh, pop immediately by a double ult. Oh, no, it wasn't double ult. I saw a flash here. Alright, so, but the Razor, however, might be able to take down another tower. Just uh, 10 more right clicks in. And uh, he's gonna take nope, this tower and he down. 
This is tower free. Uh yeah, but um the Dire are moving in right now. Phoenix is moving into uh the Razor's position, so I don't think this Razor is gonna get this tower. Tower's probably gonna go into their deny range. No, 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 they block out the creeps. Oh, no, they, they don't actually get the yeah. It's not actually in the Nye range, it's still in 140. Yeah. There's uh, a little tickle there from Agent Apparition's ulti. They should have let the creeps attack it first. So it, it would have gone into the Nye range. But right now, the Zeus... Meanwhile, meanwhile, they're harassing the top. They have to give one tower up at least. This tower looks to be the sacrificial lamb. Oh, a huge Zeus ulti goes down. Shadow Shaman is popped immediately. Sand King is dead. He doesn't have anything. This Texas, oh, Death Prophet eats the full Mystic Flare. There was nothing she could do there. Zeus with a triple kill. This Ember Spirit is really low. I bet Zeus wishes he had like a 14 minute refresher. <laughs> Ooh, nice is he gonna get sniped? Oh, misses with just a little bit. Ember knew it was coming. There was no way he could not have known that was coming. He, he does a smart thing, moves to the left a bit, avoids getting grazed by the apparition shot. Yeah, but uh, right now they've lost three of their towers. They've only taken down one despite being the uh, push heavy lineup, despite having both the Shadow Shaman and the Death Prophet. They've already lost three towers. So uh, th this might not be uh, a he good position it. for Phoenix. Center have his ult up? No, he doesn't. A blink, a blink borrow strike uh, injures the Zeus a bit. Oh, he's shit. He's dead. Yeah, so uh, Zeus gonna get caught in the retreat. Uh, maybe no. The Razor's not gonna get caught out, even if he is spotted by these wards. Uh, they, they he's, don't he's a have, bit too fast for yeah, that. They don't he's have he's moving at 372 for move speed. So yeah, Razor, quite fast actually right now. He's going to go for an early Ganims. He's more than halfway there. He has the Ogre Club smoke up. and... They get everyone except the Centaur? Where, what are they planning? Oh, the smoke is revealed immediately. They dash in. They're gonna take down the Razor. He, he does not stand the chance. This upper ult's going to come. It's just going to tickle them just a little bit, but they can't, they, they can't fight this. They have nobody in there. Oh, the Slardar blinks in. Never mind, he says, I'm going to take this hit for my team. The Skyrath will hit nothing. The Epicenter, though, the Epicenter hits. Who did it hit? I have the no Skyrath idea, but there are like three the people dead. Oh, this is looking disastrous. 9 11 right now. This is a beautiful. Uh, uh, sorry. Beautiful exchange. So, yeah, that, that was a 4 for nothing exchange from Team Phoenix. And to top that off, they also get a tower. They yeah. are back in the game. They, earlier, they lost three towers, and then they had a, this horrible fight on mid. And now they take a tower and get a four for nothing. This, lo this really looks back and forth. Was that a Zeus ulti there? No, no, no. no, no. Cancel it. So, uh, it. 16 minutes Just into the tease, game. guys. Just teasing. 16 minutes into the game, let's take a look at the net worth. Uh, a while ago, it was a, an advantage for Team uh, NLS when they took down the mid tower. And yeah. But after that... Ooh, now that what definitely wasn't the tease. What did he find? Didn't find anyone. So close though. This Ember is Flame Guard keeping him alive. Yeah, uh, I think the AA ult actually hit him. But... Oh, they're gonna run right into the Death Prophet. They find her. The blinks, the blink crush misses. It doesn't matter. Zeus is there to finish the job. Centaur's moving forward. They're gonna run right into him again. Nope, he has Blink Dagger. He should be fine. Oh no, no he isn't. Slardar has his number. But a beautiful four-man blink strike from Sand King keeps him alive. He's going to get taken down this. Oh my god, what's happening? They're all just running right in. Their numbers are down. Zeus is doing so much damage. Centaur is going to die. He got hit by the Apple. Oh, this Razor trapped in by the wards. A beautiful ward trap, but Shadow Shaman goes down anyway. This Ember is really low, but is this Apple willing to die? No, he's not. He's going to get killed by the snakes. Yes, he does. Okay, so. A three for four exchange. Ember Spirit remains alive. Zoom is becoming a really big problem. He has a veil of discord right now. His damage is through the roof. Yeah, um, th th as long as he gets within range, casting range of the veil of discord, which is actually uh, quite a bit. And, and it has a 600 radius. So it's it's a massive AoE actually. If he catches the team, uh, then he he has the Skyrath Mage amplified and his his own spells, of course, and also uh, the Razor's Plasma Field. Yeah, so that's a lot of magic damage 
to amplify um, once you have the Veil of Discord debuff uh, applied on the oh, enemy team. The user goes on a Hail Mary toss. No, Atlas them immediately. They can't fight this. They have to leave. You just wait to send your. You just wait to your. Oh, that's not. No! No, he's just going for this. They, they've, been, they've been scouted out. Okay, so they, they're smoking up. They want to contest this. Are they going to make it in time? Roshan is still a half health. They can totally make this. Kairath leading the charge. I don't know why you want to be in front there, buddy. Razor, he's waiting for it. Plasma field, scouts them out. Yes. They have been found. Centaur ult in. He was preparing for this. The beautiful epicenter takes out Zeus and Kairath without a hitch. And Razor's damage from so low. Oh wow. Slardar, is he gonna get a revenge? No, he isn't. Zeus! Zeus, get, Zeus still buys back, goes for the kill on Ember, trying to make the best out of a horrible initiation. This apparition is going to die. Alright, so... Okay, so what happened there was the centaur was baiting it. He was over here, waiting for them to come. He knew that the app bus scouted them out, so they were about to come closely. And when they saw the plasma field, he just activates ulti. They all catch them out here. Pinsered, they had did in the sand chance. A little taken away from the shot, but nope, they want more. Centaur going in. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea against the Zeus, buddy. Oh, this thing is going to. Is it gonna be enough? No, it's not. No, it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh, sprint activated on Larda. He wants it. He wants it bad. He, but nope, he gets turned into a chicken. And a little bit of lightning catches out the Shadow Shaman. So you don't want to go back there? Oh, get right out of range of the Apparition Blast. That would have been a kill for the Apparition. The Ages on Death Prophet have popped night out by the... Florida. Oh, it's getting so hard to do this. Zeus is in a bit of a bad position. Look, in between three heroes, Centaur Old gets popped up. This fight has been going on for... One and a half minutes, maybe, or maybe two minutes. But no, no, they're not gonna find it. Slardar, another one of the gotta go fast heroes in this game. The other two being, of course, Razor and Death Prophet. So Sprint provides him with an incredible 28% move speed. Allowing him to slip through unnoticed through the jungle, even with Centaur Old activated. Alright, so uh, I'd like to take this time to give a shout out to one of our most loyal fans, Spider Pig. Haven't seen you in quite a while. Welcome back, Spider Pig. Where have you been? I've missed you. Uh, <laughs> we have a new Moobot. <laughs> so you can play with Moobot a bit right now. You can type uh, exclamation coach. So <laughs> play play with him for a while. Uh, yeah, I can't be looking at the chat too much. But right now, um, let's take a look at the net worth. Of course, in the lead would be Death Prophet and Ember Spirit. Yeah, because they've been winning the past few team fights. And they have taken quite a bit of the towers. Right now, it's uh, two towers taken down by Team Phoenix Int. Uh, they, uh, there's still actually a one tower advantage for NLS because this tier one tower hasn't go gone down yet. But um, the Serpent Ooh, Warger there, the Exorcism They're not going to find anyone. So, oh, uh, they're scouting out with the Apparition Blast. He finds the Ember Spirit. The, re the, the rest are smoked up. They don't know that they're there. They just know they're going to be pushing top. Both? of their pushing ults are expended. They want this one tower and they want it bad. But there's going to be a fortify. It's just going to be delaying the inevitable. You can't stand up to the power of snakes and ghosts all at once. Scares the crap out of any tower, really. It scared the crap out of me. Uh, a revenge smoke by these guys. They want to make... They want to get... They're going to go around them. They're going to yeah. get trapped. No, no. They, they might win this engagement because the exorcism spirits are gone and there's no wards. So they do have an advantage right now. Oh, um, the, the serpent ward count out to Zeus. You're gonna find he he gets silent. He can't get his ult off. Oh, the Skyrath ult is the epicenter coming in. This is disastrous for the radiant. Oh, what an unfortunate, what an unfortunate fight by them. Oh, they still want more. No, it's the ancient apparition going to go down. And they also get the tower. Amazing from Phoenix. The Skyrath, as soon as the Zeus casted his Veil of Discord, he silences the Zeus. The Zeus contributed nothing to that fight. And, yeah. then, he, and then the Epicenter from Sand King, he knew they were... The moment he saw it, he started channeling his Epicenter, blinked right in. It took out... Uh, he contributed to the death of Zeus and to the Lardar and Razor pretty fast. So right now we have a big lead for Team... 
Phoenix. Not only were they able to take down four heroes, they were also five heroes, right? It was a five man team wipe. Yep. They were also able to take down the tier two top tower. So, right now, look at that a massive downward swing. Over 10,000 gold deficit uh, going for mm. team A little Phoenix bit of inch. cheeky. Yeah. And EXP. Cheeky global up here. That scared the death of it. She's a, she has a Black King bar. She has the HP. Yeah, EXP wise, it's the same story. Over 10,000 EXP. So let's take a look at the items right now. Um, big items are we have two Aganims scepters on the NLS side. There's the Razor Aganims, which is very good. And the Ancient Apparition, he has an early Aganim squad actually. So I'm um, gonna be useful. 17 seconds. But um, yeah, uh, even if he does have the Aganims, he's been having trouble landing those ultimates because uh, Phoenix are actually very much aware of the Ancient Apparition's ults. So uh, they've been pretty good at dodging the ult for uh, the, the most part. Uh, right now, the, I, the Slardar might be caught out right now. He has no mana for the TP scroll. A few more seconds, but he, he blinks to safety and he's going to be okay. So the end to the not person, find him. trying to Only scout out again, this is going to hit the Death Prophet. So yeah, right they now... They really prioritized an early Aghanim on... This ancient apparition. They want to do. They want to do some global kills here. They got a Zeus. He's, he seems to be also going for an Agonim. He's got a staff of wizardry up. Unless it's a dad gone, but I highly doubt that. What was this? Oh, a lot of. We have a lot of um, genitalia art going on in our mini map. So no no drawings, please. We can see that. <laughs> okay, so it was actually Phoenix and to read those drawings, but uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's it's <laughs> and it knows what was up. So right now they're they're going for uh, a bit of an early fight there. Fight only lasts ten seconds. I don't know why they activated this early. Possibly a mistake. I I declare DQ. <laughs> Okay, so uh, another tier 2 tower down, no contestation from uh, NLS, <laughs> basically a freebie. They only use the wards right there, I think the exorcism spirits are still up, yeah. So they might want to transition into another tier 2 tower, gonna take down the mid tower with the exorcism spirits and the death prophet. So this is really not looking good for NLS right now. Uh, they should be looking to defend their towers if they want the chance to take to turn this game around. They should rely on getting uh, an ancient apparition ult, uh, a big hit. On the ancient apparition ult followed by the uh, a big zeus combo as long as he doesn't get silenced by the death prophet immediately um it, it might be a good fight for them but the death prophet does oh, have a up, and it only a catches. scepter only catches the shadow oh the old ghost the old activated veil if now now's the time to use your magic Oof. This Sand King barely dodges a Mystic Flare. Amazing play by him. The, 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 the ghosts are out of control. They're tearing everyone apart. At the center, it's a bit of an awkward fight here. The Zeus DC. is disconnected. Where is the Zeus? He's DC wow. over here. He's, he's about to get a beat down by several sweet sisters. Oh, hey, the Sand King actually might, yep, take him down by the Zeus. He, nothing can hide from him, you see. Got true sight all over. Okay, Sand so King bought back for that. I'm not sure why. He, his epicenter is down for the count. You've got all stats. No points in Caustic Finale. We have enough pushing for I guess they just don't want to risk having the Death Prophet fall. The Sand King with another stun. Is a uh, guaranteed backup over there. So oh, the Zeus is they're gone. going. They're going for the Zeus. They want him really badly. He doesn't have any defensive capabilities. At oh, uh, you was going up. Bind him sometime. No, he's screwed. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, the Sand like King didn't uh, get the ancient okay. right there. Yeah. Oh no, they're not going to deny it. They want him. Oh, they're going back for him. Oh, caught. Caught out by that slam. Oh, it doesn't matter. He gets turns into a chicken. Buck, 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 buck. 
And he's just going to get silenced up there. He gets shackled by the Shadow Shaman. Razor, Razor's back in this game. He's going to begin that? No, he doesn't. Um, those, those blink doing quite a bit of work. Yeah, so at the end of that engagement, still more deaths from NLS than from and all they Phoenix in. It's a Shadow Shaman. The Shadow Shaman died though, so they weren't able to uh, take advantage of that situation. If t they managed to drop the wards from the Shadow Shaman, then they might have been able to take a good chunk of the HP of the middle tower right there. But they could also have dropped the uh, wards on the tier 3 actually, and made tier 3 top, and maybe taken this tower down because it's like 300 HP remaining. And the backdoor regeneration is disabled for all lanes as long as uh, there are creeps that disable it on one lane then all all lanes lose their backdoor regeneration so uh they, they might want to have uh attempted a uh, bit of a split, split push right there but uh, okay so zeus is back into the game what's up guys i'm back what happened oh no guys you lost another team fight that's not good but right now okay the slaughter's playing it safe blinks back and the next engagement right now we might see it at the bottom they, they want to they the centaur though nope 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 you're just teasing him just like teasing. he does have a blade mail now though zeus and slard are, uh zeus and sky have to be especially careful when nuking down that centaur yeah just because the centaur warner is so tanky uh 1600 hp i think that that's practically the hp of the zeus and sky mage combined so they have to be careful with yeah using that oh. those magic serpent wards are on the Roshan, they want to bring down the big man. Over oh, he gets scouted out, they know. They know and they're coming for him. They, they can't let this one go uncontested. They won't make it in time. They're not in position though to do anything about it, so... The they, Roshan they, is gonna fall. Yeah. This is going to be a free Aegis to the Death Prop, it looks like. What? Ember died? He got beaten to death by the big man. Wow, a bit of a, um, a bit of a misplay there from our Ember Spirit. That that was not necessary. Oh, oh, a bit of a sunlock there too. This he gets into, and they cast everything on the Slardar. Then they call GG. Sandstorm bug. Um, there's a bug where you can have the visual effect appear somewhere else where they actually sandstorming. Is that an intentional bug? We don't know. It's it's Dota. A lot of things really don't make sense. But um, it it has appeared in a few pro games. I've seen it in a in a pub game myself actually. Where you you the only way you can tell where the actual sand king is is when you're actually taking damage. All right. Um, thanks for watching, guys. That was game three. We have a Phoenix victory, two one. We had an amazing first game. You should all go check that out once VODs get processed. Thanks for joining us. All right. So uh, coach, passwords. All right. So yeah, um, that was shutters right there. My co-caster for the night, and this is uh, Coach Dota. <laughs> S <coughs> signing off from <coughs> the <coughs> oh my god from the game 3 of Phoenix <laughs> versus NLS uh, uh, NLS took game 1 of the best of 3 series and then lost game 2 within 6 minutes forfeit forfeited the second game in a very quick manner and then the game 3 uh, a very middling game 30 minutes in GG'd by Phoenix uh, GG'd by NLS yeah uh, they knew that they lost already and the Roshan was just the icing on the cake it, it just guaranteed the push coming in from the Death Prophet so they knew when their time was up they called the GG and Phoenix wins their very first game in our series uh, our very first Emerald League uh, matchup to that so congratulations and to those who are watching right now uh, please you're free to register in our series just go to facebook.com slash elite community and you can find out there how you can join our community join our series it's never too late to join because we're not really a tournament structure we just uh give matchmaking based on skills and we you know have a 
fun time casting those uh, games and give out prizes to those who win. So sign up. If you have a team, sign up. Encourage your friends to sign up and watch us uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. And, you know, we're, we're an open community. Everything's for fun. Okay, so this is me again, Coach Dota, uh, signing off.